my name's Bodhi, and if you've been watching, you know I'm building out this van to surf my way around Australia. God damn it! Come on, you little bitch. There's the tape. Got everything in my pocket. What do I got in this one? Good job. <laughs> <laughs> this is part two of the build. Last week, I picked out some timber, ran out of money pretty much straight away. Turns out wood is very expensive. Got a weekend job to help pay for it and put the flooring in. A few days in and it looks like this. It was time to start building the most critical part, the bed. That thing needs to be super sturdy. Building the frame for it was easy enough. The difficult part was trying to find a way to attach it to the car so it wouldn't slide around. It's like three in the afternoon, my dad's on the camera. We put the bed frame in about 80%. We still got the head of it to do and we've attached it to the car. So now. Oh, it's like, it's, it's locked in place. <laughs> Should be staying there. There used to be a bar across here. So we took it out. There were holes in the side of the car. We put some timber there and drilled the bolts back into the car with the timber in between. That's about all we've done in six hours. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dodgy. There's some serious clampage going on. Mm. It's not quite the same height. Something underneath. I'm getting there! God damn it! There we go, look, plants, some degree of perfection. Come on, you little bitch. Ah! Look at that! <laughs> <laughs> you should put your glasses on. Yeah, that'll help. Here's a prescription, right? <laughs> With that, we pretty much called it a day. I'm living at home at the moment, so I spent some time with the doggies, entertained them, and lit a fire for my family. Good morning, people. Today is the last day I have to work on the car. So if I don't finish it all, it means I'm gonna be driving around with a half done van build. Bed frame is now in, 12 mil ply, put our bed legs in, let's keep going. At this point, the sun was setting on our final day of work. It was getting too difficult to continue in the dark, so we had to stop and call it an unfinished project. The next morning, I had to be up at 3 a.m. to start a 2,000 kilometer drive I'd finished in less than 48 hours. <laughs> We're on the road. It's nine o'clock in the morning. I've been driving for about four or five hours. Had a little drum with the windscreen wipers. What do you know? <laughs> I think that's fixed now. I'm going to try and drive 10 to 12 hours today before in. Things are not going good. The clutch is slipping like crazy. Oh shit, that's us. Awesome. Small, small problem. Fifth gear doesn't work anymore, it's slipping too much. So we're permanently locked in fourth. The engine's revving at 3,800, if you can't hear. It's working, it's, the engine is working. And we have 1,200 Ks to go, um, shit. I'm not very mechanically minded, so I did the best I could with the little pit stop. Premium air in the tires, olive oil in the engine, and extra, extra, extra cold water in the coolant. Gotta keep the engine cold, you know? And <laughs> I got back on the road. We are taking on some serious hills right now. We're in third gear, doing 70 Ks an hour. That's it, that's all it's got. This truck is doing better than me. About 100 kilometers out of Sydney now. Car's just holding up. My ass is numb, my knees are sore. Woo! My dad and I might have built the bed frame, but it didn't have a mattress. And what good is a bed without a mattress? I found one in Ikea for just 198 bucks. That's pretty damn good. Oh. Thank God I have somewhere to sleep tonight. I slept in the Ikea parking lot last night. It's about 4.30 in the morning, they just turned these lights back on. So, I'm out of here. <laughs> 21 hours later, I made it. Let's go. Please be able to sort out my car. I am wrecked. 